Good morning, good afternoon, and a good evening. It is I, it is me, it is she, pure wisdom, and I come to provide you with your daily devotional for today. We're already in July, like my birthday is in two weeks, <laughs> but time has literally flown by. So if you have not started or begun to complete your goals, I suggest that you get, um, get going. Because time waits for no one. <laughs> time waits for no man, I promise. But anywho, um, our devotional for today comes from the book of Job. And it's the fifth chapter and twelfth verse. And it states, He disappoints the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprises. Let me read that to you again. It says from the book of Job, fifth chapter, twelfth verse. He disappoints uh, the devices of the crafty so that they cannot fulfill their enterprises, so that the hands cannot perform their enterprises. Um, this message here, um, I'm, I'm preparing, I'm really allowing myself to be downloaded with the message. Um, I had it in me, but you getting me live, live real, and in the flesh. Um, but with this scripture, what comes to me is, we have to be diligent in the things that we do. We have to be mindful in the things that we say because what we think, what we see, and what we speak, um, the negative, lower vibrational, devils, enemies, whatever you want to call them, they tend to feed on those. And this scripture simply states that he disappoints the device of the crafty. When he disappoints the device of the crafty, you know it, you remain silent what you do. You move and you keep your eyes and your ears open to what's going on around you because as long as you move in your righteousness, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Those disappointments of the crafty, they're going to be confused. The enemy, the lower vibrational, the devil, the whatever you want to call it, the negative, the, you know, whatever it is that you want to label it as, it is very strategic in what it does in, to, in hindering your life or slowing things down or making you feel like you're stagnant. But when you operate in your essence, in your king and queen essence, you know and understand your righteousness that no weapon shall prosper. They may form, but they will never prosper. You have to know inside all of your essence and all of your being that the crafty cannot touch you. The negative, the low vibration cannot touch you. You are a shining light of God. You are a you are made in the image of God. So move in silence. Be mindful of what you think because the battlefield is here in the mind. Be mindful of what you speak here out of your mouth. The tongue is powerful. The tongue is prophecy. The tongue speaks life. Regardless if it's a negative life or a positive life, the tongue speaks life to you and through you. So being mindful of in the mind and being extremely mindful with the mouth that you do not allow the enemy, the negative, the low privation, the devil to use you as a playing field. <laughs> What I really, really, really feel with this, and I'm going to read the scripture again because it it, it really touches me in, in a way that um, really prepared me for the things that I am going through myself. So from the book of Job, 5th chapter 12 verse, again, it says, he disappoints the device of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprises. Your enemies will get confused. When I say confused, your enemies think they know you. They have no idea. Because when you're operating in your anointing, when you're operating in your righteousness, even half the way, you don't have to be perfect because we're all imperfect individuals. But when you operate in, in your anointing, when you're standing in your king and queen essence, knowing that you are protected, you are covered, your mind is protected, your words are covered and, and, and spoken upon as life is speaking through them in a positive way, you begin to know in all of your essence and all of your being that the enemy can try, but they will not, they will not prosper. There will be confusion. 
there will they think they know you or they think they know what's going on when they have no clue um god may put a situation in front of you and they think they see that but then the tables turn and something else different is a different outcome god is a very crafty and an amazing 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 most high creator because he protects us he protects us even from ourselves so I hope this message blesses you in a way. Um, it got a little deep <laughs> for me this morning. I wasn't expecting it. I never expected it. I just allow the most high creator to come through me and have its way. So um, I hope that this message blesses you in a way. And I challenge you today because I'm all about challenging. I challenge you to be mindful of the things that you think and the things that you speak. And especially what you allow your eyes to see. And through all the five senses of your life, of your existence everything come in through you. So being mindful of what you allow in your essence, in your king and queen's essence, is what will propel you forward. Being mindful of that. Of course, you know it's I, it's me, it's she. I love you. <laughs> but most importantly, God loves you too.